Hi, this is Tom Blodgett from Genda Industries, and today we're going to build the Genda Industries Guided Sharpener, or Jigs for Knives. So when you unpackage your Jigs for Knives system, this is what you're going to get if you have the bare bones system. Uh, what you've got is a base plate here, which everything will mount to. The Exacu Drive system will be pre-assembled. All you've got to do is screw it in here. I'll show you that. We have a pillar for the rotary. Uh, and the stone holder, the rods, and the clamps. And you know the tool that goes with it. And pretty straightforward, so we'll start putting it together. So the first step in putting together your jigs is to take the pillar and attach it to the base. So this is pre-assembled. It's a rotary pillar. All you gotta do is turn it straight. Make sure you put it on with the crossbar facing outward, and then attach that. There's two screws on the bottom. Pop those in there. There's a countersunk holes. The screws go in. And okay, that's good and tight. The next thing we're going to do is add the what we call the tower, which is the height adjustment. It houses the Exacu drive. So here, this is a two-part piece. Take off the outer shaft. Screw that in. Okay, pop in the Exacu drive system. Lock it down, there you go. The next step in assembly is to take the jaws. The jaws will be put together with their uh, tightening screw here. So basically these swing out and open up. You may have to loosen this a little bit. You just take your tool and, and loosen it up a little bit to basically allow it to open up enough. You can turn it sideways, pop it into the crossbar, and put it in there. Then you take the dumbbells here. So undo them. Pop one in, and this is where you will adjust later by tightening and loosening these dumbbells. Basically, just tighten it down. Same with the other one. Well, make sure it's loose enough. Tighten it up. Ready to go. The next step is to put the stone holder and the and the rod together. Uh, on the end of the, the the guide rod here, there's an end cap which is removable which you can take off and put back as you need. Uh, it's one way to keep it from walking away in the eyelet uh, later on. It has a little bumper on there to prevent any, any damage. So uh, basically you're gonna screw these two together. Okay, there you go. All right, so to attach the rod to the universal eye socket, uh, you have two options. One way was to do that before you actually attach these. So you can unscrew it, pop that through, and screw it back down. Uh, the alternative is to undo the end cap and go through that way. It's probably easier to do the end cap first, put that through. Again, this prevents uh, the, the rod from walking away if, it's your, if you're in a shared environment. So again, that allows you for free movement and has a stop to it. Next is adjusting the stone holder position. Uh, it's gonna come closed, so to put the stone in, is obviously going to be a little bit too short there, even with the spring action that we have here, holding it back like pinball style. So it doesn't quite make it. So we're going to adjust that. Simply undo the screw here, pop that out. It's generally about right before the break here. And there we go. So now your stone is in. Again, pinball action. Spring that back, pop that in. And it locks into the V grooves that are there. So. Next, we're going to adjust the clamps so that we can fit our knife. So in this case, I've got a uh, clamp and my neck knife here, which is clearly a little too short. So can't really do that. So we have to move our clamps. So I'm going to put them more central. In that case, you can butt them right up against each other, or you can have them spread out a little bit. So I'm going to put them right next to each other. So now we've got about an inch and a half of rip. So here, that's about where I want it. I'm gonna do it back here. Gives me a straight edge here. Line that up. Use the tool, clamp it down. You don't have to wrench it. You'll feel when it grabs, you see it self straightens kind of, and that's it. Just a little bit, you feel like a spring tight. That's it. I'm not really wrenching down. I'm not up with a leg on the table. So this is uh, now clamped here. Not going anywhere. Rotates over. Not a problem. So that's the way to clamp a knife like this. So with a larger knife, 
Again, I'm clamping it. Okay, you're not wrenching down. I'm gonna open up a little wider this time because I got a bigger blade coming. Uh, just to show a more extreme situation here. Now we've got a Chinese style fish knife. So this is, you know, a cleaver. So we're gonna basically, uh, hopefully we'll get it in frame here. Definitely gotta open it up a bit. So this way, actually more asymmetrical style. I could actually clamp it in the center and off the one side, which would give me an actual straight line here. So about like that. All right, so I've really done a little bit different. So I move this up a little bit more. Again, some fiddling around with it. So it's just how close it is together. Yeah, you can't do this on other systems where you can just move so freely to adjust for that. So here we are. Again, just clamping it down to tight and a little bit. Tight. Uh, I want to put in a, a chef knife. So here I have a nine inch chef knife. So this one is going to be more straightforward in terms of uh, putting it into position. So this is more traditional, spread out, even steven. So here, just pretty much straight in, tight and a little bit. Tight and a little bit. So there we go, that's mounted and ready to go. So I've taken off the knife, uh, I've taken off the stone holder here. And there's two ways to clamp the, the base system. So again, this being stainless steel, it's heavy and it's nearly not going anywhere. Uh, so one thing you can do is bolt it down to your cable. If it go through or through up, we've, we've got these caps here. We'll have nuts and bolts for you uh, so you can secure. Uh, but if, if you want, you can also clamp it to the table by a C clamp or something or a, a long clamp here on the side. Uh, basically, however you want to do it. So there's, there's a lot of ways. Uh, you can put some rubber feet on there as well. It's sturdy. The design of it stops it from tipping over so much. So however, what we recommend is the acrylic base, which gives you just that much more of a footprint and, and height and just stability as a wider base. So pre drill holes and it's gonna line right up. So in this case, just gonna pop that in. It's pretty straightforward how to mount, you know, something onto your workbench or whatever. So here, yeah, start with this. All right. Of course, you can tighten those down and I get a nice good fit. And now you really have on here a base, a footprint that is just not going anywhere. So highly recommend the, the extra base, um, again, to really just give you that stability that you need, extra stability, especially on a large knife or a machete or a lawnmower blade or something. So yeah, next we'll be ready to sharpen. We'll reattach the stone holder and sharpen away.